Hi kids! Welcome to Science 4. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss the different changes that happens in solid materials. Let's go! Have fun while learning! The first thing that you should do is to name 10 materials that can be found inside the room. Go! Good job, kids! Most of your answers are example of solid materials. When we say solid, it has definite shape and volume. You can hold solids, for example, pillow, books, and table. Solid materials have different characteristics or properties, such as size, shape, color, texture, weight, etc. For example, in these coins, they have different sizes, but the same shape, which is circle. That's right. Another example are the shoes. They have different sizes, different shape, color, texture, weight, design, and style. Last example, we have the blankets. Blankets have different sizes, shape, color, texture, and weight. I have here a poem for you. It was entitled, Bend It, Stretch It, Hammer It, Break It. It was written by May Natividad. Please read it quietly. I will give you one minute to read. Go. What are the different materials that being mentioned in the poem? Correct. What did she do to change the materials? Very good. If you are in her situation, are you going to do the same? That's right. What solid material that you want to change? And why? Good job! Now let's have a simple experiment. It was entitled, How Can I Change It? The materials are candle, barbecue stick, ice cube, band paper, aluminum foil, and rubber band. And then later on, you're going to answer the chart. What can I do to change the material? And what change happened in the material? Are you ready? Let's begin.
Let's check your answers or observations in this part. What happened to the candle? Correct. It was melt and bent. What change happened in the material? Very good. It changed the shape and size. What about the barbecue stick? That's right. It was bent. It also changed the shape and size. What about the ice cube? Good job. It is milk. What change happened in the material? Correct. It changes the shape and the size. Next is the bun paper. What did I do with the bun paper? Very good. Cut, crumple, tear, and fold. Of course, it also changed the shape and size. What about the aluminum foil? That's it. It also cut, crumpled, tear, and fold. Yes, it also changed the shape and size. Lastly, we have the rubber band. What did I do with it? Correct. I stretch it and cut. And it also changed the shape and size. Good job, kids! Always remember this, kids, that a solid has definite shape and volume. You can hold solids. Solid materials have different characteristics or properties such as size, shape, color, texture, weight, and so on. Now, let me ask you this question. In what way we can change the characteristic or properties of solid materials? You're right, kids! Solid materials can be changed through many ways. For example, is by cutting, tearing, folding, bending, stretching, pressing, crumpling, melting, twisting, coloring, and others. Now, let's check your understanding. Kindly fill in the columns to describe the change or changes that happened in the solid materials. We have here an example. For example, is the candle. Okay, so what can I do to change the material? So you can bend it or you can cut. So what change happened in the material? So it changed the shape and the size. Now kids, it's your turn. Please answer this now on your paper or notebook. I'll give you three minutes to do it. Go! Now, kindly check your answers. Here are the answers. For number one, you can bend, cut, or melt it. It changes the shape and size. For number two, you can bend, cut, melt, and press. It also changes the shape and the size. For number three, paper bag, you can cut, crumple, fold, or color. It changes the shape, size, and color. Number four, plastic bottle. We can bend, cut, or melt it. It also changes the shape and size. And lastly, we have the clay. We can bend, cut, and press.
Of course, it will change the shape and size. Good job, kids! I do hope you got a perfect score. And for your assignment, kindly bring the following materials for our experiment. One piece of plastic ruler, two pieces paper clip, one piece rubber slippers, metal spoon, and 12 inches long electric wire. But this is only optional. Okay, so that ends our lesson for today kids thank you for listening bye